Hey guys, welcome back to the ranch. So in today's video, I wanna show you guys how to, let me flip this around, how to replace your carburetor on a Toro CCR2000 uh, single stage snowblower. So my issue with this is, as soon as I open this, you will be able to see it, is that I've got a crack down here. And yes, I just smeared some goop on last time I used it because I needed to plow or rather snow blow a foot of snow. And I needed to really, really quickly do that. So, oh, it's on the other side. You can, probably can't see it I'm quickly. Move you guys. Hang on, I got a new tripod, still figuring things out. So, if you look here on this center tube, you'll see it down here. You see that crack there in the center? Whoop, I want focus, focus! There we go. See the crack there going down in the center? Just there. Yeah, that prevents my bolt from tightening down that sediment bowl or whatever you want to call it uh, all the way so fuel will con constantly leak either from up here where the seal is or it's gonna leak down from where the bolt itself is so last time it was leaking from the bottom I needed to plow I just smeared some silicone on I know it doesn't hold against gasoline but I was at least able to plow the snow or rather blow the snow so to remove these is rather easy you got to just remove the shroud tip it on its front that way the fuel can't leak out that's still in the tank um, I'm not going to show you how to remove the plastic I can link a video uh, there or whatever to show you how to do it you need a five millimeter Allen uh, wrench and you got to remove these uh, two bolts here that hold it actually this uh, air shroud thingy in place this is actually also where the fuel goes from the primer bulb when you prime so just crack those open and this is actually the only thing that holds it on physically uh, with screws to the snow blower to the motor itself so we are going to quickly unscrew these Take that whole assembly out like that. Remember the opening is pointing up. Put that aside. Now you can up here slide the choke pin out. Just point it, push it up because you might have already disconnected it before. And now you can move the carburetor like this to the side. Let's see if I can zoom in here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. You will see the spring over here. Uh, hold on. Focus. Right there. So this spring and latch or whatever. That was the spacer that just fell down. That's fine. Um, you will just gently unhook it. And unhook the spring. And that's all you need to do. Unho unhook the primer line. Sorry, gotta widen you guys again. Unhook the primer line, pull it out. And that's it. That's how you get the carburetor off. All right, so we're gonna get ready to reinstall the new clean carburetor. Um, you're gonna have a gasket here. Then you're gonna have the spacer. On the other side, there's going to be another gasket, which covers this end like that. That will sit like this 
on the spacer. Then on the other side, you will have this little air intake shroud. There will be another gasket and the two bolts that go through. I personally like to pre-start these uh, on the outside just so I can get my gaskets lined up in the right place. And then before you screw it on, you're going to want to connect the linkage here with the throttle. Just simply thread the linkage in while holding everything together. Then grab the little spring that's here and just also hook that in. There we go. And now just place it on its resting location. And then you want to pre tighten the bolts by hand just to get them started to make sure you're not cross threading anything. Afterwards, take your five uh, millimeter Allen. Use that to pull the screws or the bolts rather all the way down and then snug everything up. And that's pretty much it. That's how you swap a carburetor on these. And that will be the ranch dog in the background. Never mind him. So. That's an easy way to swap these out. Now, this is a used carburetor. Uh, I'll put a link up here as to what I did to just quickly clean it up. Uh, I got it on eBay, $40 with shipping, something like that. Uh, now, I did previously order one of the $14 El Cheapo ones from Amazon made in China. I put it on, the seal did not was too big for the bowl on the bowl to seal so if we look at the old carburetor this seal here was far too big uh, there was a big gap there so even when you tightened it down fuel kept pouring out of here and then the threads um, that screwed in down here in the bottom they were just you tightened this uh, nut down once and you if you took it out again, you were taking threads out with it. So it was just a cheap Chinese piece of junk. So I sent that back and figured I'd look for one of these good old made in Japan ones, which I then found for the, you know, 40 bucks used. And yeah, I cleaned it up. We installed it now. I'm going to put the thing together, see how it runs. But Changing a carburetor on these is very, very simple. I hope this video helped you guys uh, keep your you know, machinery running, save you guys some money, hope you learned something new in the process. Uh, if you liked the video, as usual, thumbs up, leave me a comment, will greatly be greatly appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Um, yeah, let me know what you think and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks.